Hi guys, welcome back to another collection video and today we'll be checking out Star Trek Can by Diamond Select. <laughs> So here he is, the Star Trek Can by Diamond Select. Um, now this is obviously star, uh, Can from Star Trek II, the Wrath of Can. And it's... There he is, guys. Now this is the uh, fifth um, Diamond Select diorama Star Trek figure. Um, since 2013, They've been doing these diorama Star Trek figures. Now, Diamond Select, as far as I've known for a long time, back when they were working with a company called Art Assembles, I believe it was called, way back, they've been doing Star Trek figures for a very long time. And uh, for, a, for a wee while, they started, they kind of stopped, and it seemed like we weren't getting any more. And in 2013, they picked it right back up by bringing us out these kind of big, massive uh, diorama sets. Uh, what's say big, massive? diorama sets with the, the same figures out that we already kind of received before uh, just not much in a figure formation more like uh, statue-esque type uh, figures um, which to be honest with you I own some of the older figures that they did uh, which I still love uh, I reckon I wish they kind of still could, did that today because I was enjoying collecting them and enjoyed the idea of collecting a whole bunch of figures see who I could get from almost uh, I collect like the original, you know, Kirk and Spock and a lot of things from the original series and I did collect some of the movies, like the motion picture, they released a Kirk and Spock from that. They did a, almost 10 years ago, believe it or not, in 2007 they released a 24th, sorry, 25th, sorry, anniversary of um, The Wrath of Khan. Basically a whole series of figures, including... Uh, Comic Con exclusive, um, like uh, McCoy, uh, Scotty Sulu, and Chekhov. And also did a like a battle damaged can, which I have the whole set. I finally got around to collecting the whole set. Just I, fin I think I finally finished it like two thousand and twelve, and I've been I've been collecting since um, two thousand and seven. And it was just a, took me a while to try and track down some certain figures that I really needed to complete my collection. But uh, they also did the motion, uh, the Voyage Home figures, which was Curtain Spot as well, from that. And I thought it would have seen like we were going to do Star Trek Three, which I did see at, like 2008 Comic Con. They were going to release in, you know, a two pack of that, which was obviously the Klingon from that movie, or Christopher Lloyd and his psychic, along with that dog creature, but unfortunately for some reason maybe they had licensing problems to get Christopher Lloyd's right, rights, I don't know, but we never did see that and uh, they just went straight to that to Voyage Home. So it just kind of stopped and, and it annoys me because like we could have got so much more from it, especially people that were collecting it. Anyway, they picked it back up and they brought these out instead and uh, as you can see, <clears throat> Those are the two I have. Uh, this is the third, should I say, of the original Star Trek diorama sets. Um, the rest of the card and uh, Wolf Clan, I believe it's from Next Generation as well. I don't really watch Next Generation, so sweaties, I'm sorry. Hate me all you want, uh, all you big hardcore Star, Star Trek fans. Um, I mean, I might watch it one day, I just haven't got around to watching it. I prefer like, the Kirk Spock stories like the original series, the original movies, the J.J. Abrams uh, movies, I enjoyed Justin Lang's movie. So that's it. That's kind of like Star Trek for me, is Spock and, and Kirk. Um, so this, I, I, this had to be, I've already got the other two, which at the very end of this video I'll stick with the three of them out, just to let you see, but um, this, this, this for me when it uh, got announced, obviously it's got announced today, 50th anniversary, which is kind of silly because they could have held it back for, they could have released something else and holded it back for the twenty, the, the 35th actually anniversary which is just next year. Maybe they might bring something in one fourth scale, or one sixth scale sorry. Uh, maybe not Diamond Select but another company might do. And you never know. 
because uh, it's going to be the 35th anniversary of uh, Rafa Can, then who knows. Anyway, guys, let's get on to the figure. Enough chit chatting. Um, so here's the box itself, right? Uh, just like every new Diamond Select diorama set. Um, they've got these cool, look at that, look at that for a picture, guys. Cool photo at the side of whoever it is that you, you get, whether it's Ghostbusters you're collecting, whether it's Star Trek, whether it's even the X Files this year from the, that mini series that they did, which I'm hoping that they do more of X Files. I really think that would be great. You can go into the original series and start that up. Uh, so they do a cool box set at the back, like I showed you. If you really want to, you can read that. Pause it. Anyway, guys, let's crack open this bad boy and let's talk about him. And here he is, guys. Can by Diamond Select. And these diorama set. Now, uh, I'll go into some other things. I'll, I'll show you a little thing at the end of this where I'll compare the 25th anniversary with Diamond Select released almost 10 years ago uh, figure to this figure. And there's some slight changes, I feel, um, overall. But anyway, we'll go to the figure itself. So here, you do get the base. And you have to assemble it. It's really just the chair. The um, You just assemble the pretty much the banister together. And just attach can, which that's really all there is to it, really. And these do slide open, just sort of like in the volume. So you can have can sitting down on his chair. Um, and I mean it really is an outstanding looking piece in terms of accessories guys now this is uh, where a lot of people like to know you do get an extra can head an extra left arm extra left hand pointing finger Sitting down, well, torso, as I'd like to call it, for the when he's sitting down. Uh, extra long hand in case you just want to attach it from standing, so that's what that looks like it's for. And another extra hand for having just, if you have been sitting down, to just have it doing something different uh, rather than, you know, I really think this one's just for sitting down, really, honestly. So there you go guys, these are the accessories. Now let's take a look at that scurling extra head again, shall we? In terms of detail on this thing, um, it's pretty cool. The paint job's not too bad. Um, I like that about it. Um, does it look like Ricardo Montalban? Now that's the thing. It's not pitch perfect, not hot toys by any standards. But it's okay. It's not too bad. Um, one thing I have noticed about Diamond Select is they do more cartoonish look to their figures. Uh, it's a wee bit off, but it doesn't matter too much. You can have them standing, sort of yelling like that, or you can have them sitting down when it put it on his body when he's sitting down. However, you like to put it. Now the lookalike on this head sculpt. Uh, the original head sculpt. Does that look like Ricardo Mantaban? Uh, slightly, again. Like I say, it's not Hot Toys. Maybe if Diamonds, uh, if NECA, sorry, was to take on this license and do a can figure, they might do it a bit better. I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I would like to put that to the test to let them see them try. Um, I'll tell you what, it's, from a distance, it looks, you know who it is, and it looks really darn good. I think the whole pose, him with his arms folded, is iconic. Uh, this is referenced in the movie when he's standing over Chekhov when Chekhov's on the com to Carol Marcus. It's also this. It could also be if you take off the torso and have him sitting down with his arms folded. You could re recreate that scene where, um, you know, he's listening to Kirk and Spock over the com. Uh, when he's down and when Kirk's down in regular one, so it's a really iconic, just like the picture I showed you on the side of the box of Ricardo Montalban, sort of 
pose. It's a really iconic can pose. Also from the poster, the famous poster as well. So I really like that about it. And I think that's how I'm going to pose my can for the time being until I get really bored with it. Now, on to... Now this is going to affect a lot of you guys. Um, a lot of people that love articulation on figures. Um, I thought I might reference this while I'm talking about this piece. Now, as I said to you before, this is more of a statuesque type figure. If you're looking to buy a can fully articulated, this is seven inch. This is not the figure for you. Um, you'll be uh, extremely disappointed on that. So it's that sense. Um, as I showed you before, the accessories is how you put the figure together. Is how you get to pose the the fact that you can change it from time to time. If you get bored of that look, you can have them sitting down and change the over the torso or the body or anything like that, you can change the figure like that, which is a nice touch. I personally don't mind it because I like to have my figures sort of stuck in one pose from time and then I do get bored of it, I will change it. You know, I don't play with them, I don't anything like that, I would just sit it and maybe on a unit, on a shelf, maybe in a glass cabinet, something, this is for something for hardcore collectors that like their figures like that, that like to display their figures. Me personally, I'm happy that I've got this stand, and this is what sold it for me. Is the you know, as soon as I seen it at Comic Con, I was I had to get this. I, there was no ifs or buts. This I couldn't pass on this. I I really wanted it. Now I don't think this line of figures, as I've been saying, sells well. Hence why I feel that they've already done just five, and it, since it's been released like 2013, maybe maybe it was released in 2012. I don't know. They've only made five figures so far. And I just feel that's quite short for, for you know, we're in 2016 now. And I feel they should do so much more, me personally, with this line, um, while they've got the chance. Um, so let's compare it enough to the can, uh, the regular can that came out for 2007. Okay guys, if that's, if you're really wanting a can... Artic fully articulated, this is the can for you. Now, you, if you're really looking for them, you can probably track them down on eBay for 50 quid. I think it's the cheapest you can get them now. Um, as you can see, all the articulated joints, it's fully articulated. Sometimes the feet can be hard to get them to stand because they're a lot pointed. Oh, there we go. Never thought I could stand them, but there you go. Anyway, there, that's a great representation of looking at the two differences. Now this is the head sculpt on 2007's Diamond Select figure of Can. I feel the eyebrows is more Ricardo Montalban esque look. When I when this figure came out it was like I had to buy it, it was like you know, for any Star Trek two Rafa Can fans, I mean that that's that is my favourite Star Trek movie. I love Into Darkness, some people don't like that film, but I love this film. This is a film that I remember as a kid watching. Um, there's a very big differences there, and to the head sculpt at the back, um, to that the new one. Um, I personally, I love both of them. Um, they're all good in their own way. This is really good in terms of it's fully articulated, as you can see. I've not posed them. That's the iconic finger. You do get the mad famous iconic finger. Sorry guys. Of him pointing. Just in you could have him like like that from He asks me. He asks me and I shall have him. Or just you didn't expect to find me. You thought this was City Alpha 6. <sighs> anyway, whatever guys. However you that iconic finger that he always had, that he kind of happy points, is sort of there for that figure. Um, I think he did get extra hands with that one. I could be wrong, but I think he did because he also got another glove for him carrying the, um, you know, the tweezers to put the earwigs or whatever you want to call them, silly slugs I think they're called, and to check off and Captain Terrell. Um, so I'll, 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 I'll quick pan down while I'm here. I'll look there, here, there's my uh, Rafa Khan and Star Trek movie figures. Uh, see what I mean? 
Great, great. They were great at the time, guys. They still are great. Oh, and I do have another can. I almost forgot. The Genesis can. Well, we're talking about cans. I'll put the two together and they look good. Look at that, guys, eh? Ain't that something? Well, that looks cool, then. Three cans. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. It's the Genesis can. If you're lucky, guys, if you're looking for that, it's quite rare, very hard to get. Um, it's another favourite figure of mine, all time favourite, because it's the scene where he's sort of dying. Really a good line, guys. I'm glad they've done this extra one. Um, in a few moments, I'm going to show you the three diorama sets together to show you what that looks like. But in terms of can, if you're looking for a fully articulated figure, this is the can to get. It's seven inch and less the Diamond Select give you an up-to-date version. I, I think that's like the 2.0 over there, if you're honest with me. And I think that's as close as you're going to get to a new can figure by Diamond Select. And also they can get the dying can if you can track them down. Really, really co cool figures, guys. Especially for any Rafa can fan and just Star Trek fans in general. So like I say, think about before you buy it. Um, definitely worth getting, I feel, um, if you're not bothered about having figures with articulation. Um, but I just don't feel that this line sells well due to that problem. I think that's a lot of fans' problems. Anyway guys, I'll just give you a quick pan and then we will we will show the the rest of the figures. Two seconds. That's just that's incredible guys. It really is. What the detail is having the three cans together. Amazing. Let me know in the comments guys what can you feel you like the best? Do you prefer the new 2016 can, the 2007 regular can, or the 2007 dying can. I'd like to go oh, Genesis can. Sorry. Let me know, guys, in the comments below. I'd love to hear your thoughts, definitely, guys. And just before I wrap everything up, guys, here is the my Star Trek diorama set collection so far of the original series anyway and original movie right up to the new can set now like I say there is another set they're doing I think I might be wrong it could be a, a Borg I think they're releasing I can't remember there's definitely somebody else that's coming it was at Comic Con uh, you can leave a comment for me uh, definitely and, and let me know uh, it's also helpful which would be great um, I mean that to me guys, that's really, really cool. Um, I love the diorama sets. In fact, you can change Spock if you're not aware of the Spock. You can change him standing, pointing with a phaser. Or you can have him sort of meditating. Pain! Pain! I feel it's a missed opportunity, this line. The fact they didn't do more. Um, it's not another can of vial they released. It's more, I would say it's more of a figure. It's just more of a statuesque figure. And the only one you can change in that one is the Kirk. You can have him doing his iconic jump. Or you can just have him sort of standing down, hitting them with a pole. Um, and the can doesn't really seem to... doesn't have any other extra parts. And there is can from the Rafa can. So, like I said, guys, please let me know in the comments below. What do you think of these uh, Star Trek diorama sets? Do you love it? Do you hate it? Um, always uh, keen to know your thoughts. I personally like them. Um, just because I like to have my, you know, figures out and display, and it's great to have a diorama set to go with it and have them standing and have them jumping and all that kind of thing. However you want to have them, I feel that they should have done this with other uh, Star Trek characters. Like, if you were going to do Sulu's one, you'd have them as the swordsman, you know, or something. Just iconic scenes from iconic episodes and movies. I feel that they should continue this. Uh, maybe they will. Maybe they won't. Um, it just depends on how good they sell. I don't think, personally me, that they're selling well because I can still get that can in the shops and it's been in the shops for... It's not left the shops in the three years since its release. Which is kind of... It's kind of unfair for it, I suppose, guys. Um, it's unfair for Diamond Select. Um, that's really all I have to say about this video, guys. I'm, I was surprised when I saw it in the shop yesterday. Um that it's out because I hadn't heard anything on eBay there's not a seller on eBay selling it 
or in the eBay store, there's nothing. Um, the only time, once I got the figure and went home, the only store that I could see was selling it was Amazon. And that's when I realised, alright, which is kind of strange because I normally look on eBay and I see, oh, it's out in the UK. Uh, it's going for a UK price, so there I know, therefore I know it's out in the UK stores. Um, which I didn't really rec I didn't know this figure was out. Anyway, guys, I'm rambling on. This video's gone on too long enough. Uh, thanks very much for watching, guys, and <laughs> take care, guys, and live long and prosper, guys. Bit cheesy, but there you go.